Lillian and Ariva Martin here to talk more about this. So uh, the grand jury comes back with voluntary um, manslaughter. What does this tell you? Essentially, there's a killing that's happened, and it could be charged as a murder, except voluntary manslaughter means there's a justification, a legal justification for the killing. And in this case, we heard the defendant's attorney say it's going to be self-defense of others as well as the battered uh, wife syndrome. We know the son was involved, and apparently the ex-mayor punched the son in the face, and the wife is claiming she then took the gun and shot the gun because she was in fear that her ex-husband was going to cause great bodily harm to her son. Mm -hmm. So she's saying that the shooting was justified because she was defending her son from this husband who we're now hearing from the attorney was quite abusive not only towards her but also towards her children. RJ, we just heard her lawyer there who asked the media not to uh, come up with an opinion until all the evidence is there and yet he had some pretty harsh accusations um, for Daniel Crespo. So Who's wh dead? where do you think this case is going? Yeah. Well, I, I think is establishing uh, his defenses, which I wouldn't necessarily do in the media because you don't know what's going to come into evidence. But it seems very clear to me that in order for Ms. Crespo to win this case, she needs to establish self-defense. She needs to establish there was no time for cooling down, that there was a heat of provocation, and that she was defending not only herself, but also her son. And that's got to come out in testimony. In self-defense cases, most of the time, the only way you establish that kind of evidence is to have the person testify at trial. So it's really going to come down to if the jury believes her and sympathizes with her. And, and there is some more evidence here, obviously, that we have not seen <laughs> just yet. There, there are text messages, apparently, yeah. that Lavette Crespo had sent to Daniel Crespo, where she essentially may have threatened him yeah. as well. Well, I think it's important to note, this is a couple that apparently were together since high school, had this great love affair that somehow turns bad. She accuses him of infidelity, having lots of other girlfriends, bringing those girlfriends into their relationship. So the prosecutors are saying, look, this wasn't self-defense, but this is a woman who was scorned because of her husband's infidelity. And we've heard Crespo's brother come forth and talk mm -hmm. about you know, Mrs. Crespo killing the ex-mayor, sure. not because of self-defense, but because she was angry about those girlfriends. But the kids mm -hmm. so far seem to be siding with their mom and are saying, yes, he abused our mom, he abused us, and this abuse is longstanding. When he talks about her face getting smashed into a computer, and I mean, are they going to, are there any police reports that we could see here? I mean, how do you establish that this was a long pattern of domestic dis abuse. Well, that's when, that's when it gets a little complicated. The defense attorneys have to make pretrial motions and see whether or not that it, uh, evidence is going to be admissible. A judge is going to weigh the pros and the cons of that evidence and see whether or not the prior bad acts of the of the victim in this case comes in to show the mental state of mind of Miss Crespo. And that's going to be something for the experts to establish. And under battered women's syndrome, I think it is going to come in because that's part of the defense. But I think what we should note about what we've heard in the media to date is that Miss Crespo didn't call the police. Mm -hmm. and so it's not so clear that there's going to be a clear, you know, paper trail right. of this abuse. Although there may be some witnesses who can testify to it. We know the children are going to be key in this case because apparently they observed their dad and mom having these horrible fights. And if you listen to the audio tapes or the police reports, according to the son, the son kept saying, it wasn't my mom's fault, mm -hmm. it was yeah. my dad's fault. That's right. going to be extremely persuasive yeah. when it comes to the jury. They have right. an adult daughter too. And the adult daughters come out in favor of the mom as well. Right. Crespo yeah. as well. Okay. Right. Ariva Martin, RJ Manuelian, thank you very much. Thank, thank you. you. Thank